Yeah, I cleared a little circle around here, a little racetrack, if you will. I was having issues with some of these bigger trees, so my Uncle John came over to show me how to do it and give me a good example, so I know I'm doing it right. So, sometimes it pays to have a mentor. Especially one that doesn't mind putting up with your stupid questions. But that tree over there had thorns on there. God, the thorns were two, three inches long. And uh, I was scared to get them through my tire. So he said, turn the bucket flat like it is there. And then just push that as far as you can. Keep my your tires, keep it out of your skin. Yeah, I understand how to drive a tractor, and a lot of it I'm pretty good at, but some of it I'm still a little scared of. I've had the thing on two wheels several times, and John's a lot more confident than I am, but I am learning. Practice does make perfect. Yeah, you can see here I cleared a, a circle around there. There's my other buddy, my side by side. But we came through here and then he was following me just to make sure if anything happened to me that, you know, they at least knew where I was. And then cleared there as far as we could in. And then we took a side by side and made that little path through there. Had the four wheel drive on. But slowly but surely we're gonna clean it out and we're going to make a little bit of room for bushcraft and, and we'll have more land for the cattle and the pigs as well. So. And then my bush, or the, uh, excuse me, my bush hog, I sheared a pin on that. So it's called a key, I believe he said. So I had some bolts laying around in the, the dairy barn. So. He showed me how to replace that. If I snap off another one, I'll actually do a video for you guys. But the little gearbox on top, you just raise that up. There's a bolt in there that just snaps off. And if you know you hit anything hard, that thing will shear. And that way you're not tearing up the bush hog itself. So he's just taking all those thorn trees and just pushing them off. The one good thing about having all the rain is that the soil is real loose right now. Yeah, we're pushing trees, I'd say between five and probably six, six and a half inches. We're pushing them over. Get out of the way of some of that line danger.
I tried that earlier and had the front tires straight up in the air. That was enough for me. John's a lot crazier than I am. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, this tractor here, uh, John Deere, the 68 horsepower tractor. So, uh, for you car guys, 68 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot, but you know your average farm tractor, just for your average guy, probably about 25 to 50 horsepower. So when you get a 68 horsepower one, this is a fairly you know beast, uh, fairly this huge tractor. For your average guy you know if you got a huge huge farm and you're doing all kinds of work you know it's nothing but yeah, for your average guy this thing's a beast and diesel is always a better option so he's just pulling the roots out now there it goes <laughs> Just like he said he would, pull it up and then push it down. Picture biting. They found me. But that'll give you a good example of how clearing is. Like I said, when we came, when we first got here, everything was just growed up. You couldn't see anything. And like I said, I just went around it a couple times and kind of made a round track so we could just get in here and kind of see what we had in here. And then I brought in the side-by-side -side to go through where we could, kind of see what was what. Because I had no idea what was in this backfield. So, and here is where I went. You can kind of see where I just pushed it over. I was trying to bush hog, but I, the bush hog wasn't working. So the PTO was spinning, or the, the shaft, I say, the drive shaft. And uh, so I thought it was working. And I was like, well, it sure didn't take it down very far. So I did it, went around a couple more times. And then I look, got out and looked at it, and the blades just weren't turning. So that's when John came over to let me know that I sheared one of those pins off and how to fix it. 
but yeah this is our path out of here and now we have one in and out of the woods so there you have it so please like and subscribe and as usual thank you and god bless